Hello everyone, welcome back in my Rashid Iqbal channel. In this video, I will show you our UPS setup and battery bank. Let's get started. This is UPS panel. Here you can see we have four UPS unit arranged in a rack. Each UPS rating is 6 kVA and they are connected in parallel to share the load and provide reliable backup power. This is the circuit breaker setup. CB10 to CB13, this is for output AC load and CB14 and CB15 for HVAC which is used to control the heating, ventilation and air conditioning system. These are the main input terminal where power enters the UPS. Here CB1 is the main incomer circuit breaker and the main power cable is connected to this terminal. This is the SPD or we can say surge protection device which provides safety for the system from voltage spikes. These are the input circuit breaker CB2, CB3, CB4 and CB5 one for each UPS. Then we have the output breaker CB6, 7, 8 and 9. These breakers connect to common bus bar that combine the output of all the UPS units. Finally, these breakers CB16, CB17, 18 and 19 connect the UPS units to the battery bank. Now we are connecting a cable for temporary single phase power supply to main terminal of UPS labeled as X1. This is the back side of each UPS. Here you can see the ports which are used to make parallel connections between all four UPS units. Each UPS is connected to battery string. The DC input output rating from battery string is 192 volt for each UPS as you can see here. And all the UPS unit follows the same wiring setup. Let me explain how the parallel cords are connected. The cord from UPS 1 connects to UPS 2 creating a link between them. Then UPS 2 is connected to UPS 3 and UPS 3 connects to UPS 4. Finally, UPS 4 is connected back to UPS 1. This create a loop where all the UPS units are interconnected. This setup allows them to work together like redundancy or sharing the load and providing backup power in parallel. Now let's look at the battery bank. These are the battery enclosure. Inside, there are four floors of batteries, means four string of batteries. These are lead acid battery, each rated at 12 volts and 80 ampere hour. This is the AH rating, 80 AH. The battery are connected in series, where the negative terminal of one battery is connected to positive terminal of the next battery. All the battery follow the same connection pattern, which is known as series connection. This method helps to increase the overall voltage. Each floor or rack has 16 batteries. And since each battery is 12 volt, the total voltage for one rack is 16 multiplied by 12 volt, which is equal to 192 volt. The first and last terminal of the battery string, that is positive and negative, provide a total voltage of 192 volts. According to our design, the battery in rack 1 are connected to UPS 1. The battery in rack 2 are connected to UPS 2. Same way, rack 3 to UPS 3 and rack 4 to UPS 4. Each battery string is protected by two fuses. One for the positive terminal and one for the negative terminal. This make a total of 8 fuses. Let me show you this fuse, each rated at uh, 50 ampere. You can see here, this is the fuse. Now we are connecting the UPS unit to the batteries. As per our design, we need four cable, one for each UPS.
after completing all the connections we will supply power from this uh, isolator since this is a workshop test we have made temporary power connection now we are checking the input voltage which is 245 volts now let's turn on the main breaker of the ups cabinet and also circuit breaker for input power of each ups you can see that all ups unit have powered on and their lcd screens are turned on let me show you the information displayed on the lcd this alarm shows error code 204 I think once we connected with battery and load, maybe this error will be fixed out. When I click this button, you can see the input voltage is 245 volt and the frequency is 50 hertz. Since no load is connected, it is showing zero load, no output current. This here shows the temperature of the system. This is the temperature. Now we have connected all four UPS cable from X3 terminal of UPS. and the other end of this cable is connected to battery bank with fuse terminal now we will turn on all the output breaker of the ups here you can see the ups hvac system is running to maintain a safe operating temperature you can see here the dc voltage from the ups charging the battery the dc voltage is around 200 volt on the ups lcd you can see the battery charging status the battery is currently at 49% charge each battery string is showing 203 volt DC because this is connected in series and this is the output terminal or load terminal of the UPS let's check the voltage here the output voltage is 242 volt AC I hope this video helped you to understand the system if you like the video please like and subscribe to my channel if you have any question please drop them in the comments below thanks for the watching